The management utilities are tools that enable you to run backup and restore operations, clean disk space, and also change the server user password. Log files can be very useful when investigating problems. However, those files can get bigger and after a while might consume too much disk space. For that, you have the Manage Clean Logs utility that cleans the historic log files and only keeps the latest and more relevant information on the disk. If you insist, you can use the dash all argument to delete also the latest logs. A good practice is to clean the logs just after you run die collect logs, so that if you ever need the historic logs, you could find them in the collected package. Using the Manage Password Update utility, you can update the server user password. I'll run the utility, provide a new password, and retype it just to verify, and I'm done. The biggest advantage in using this utility is that it saves downtime of the XDM server because it eliminates the need to run server update. Currently, the server user password is the only supported password, while for all other passwords, you will still need to use the server config update. Your data is the most important property that the XDM server stores, and as such, you must keep it safe. Your data is stored on the database, the vault, and even in few configuration files. Since we can only hope for the best, we must prepare for the worst. And the worst is when you face a disaster with your XDM server and your data is at risk. While it is a relatively simple process to establish a new XDM server, restoring data is a challenge and you must have a plan ready for that. The good news is that if you have a backup of your data, it is most likely that you will be able to recover fast and with minimal data lost. We recommend running a daily backup so that you maintain a backup package for each day. You might want to backup more often or believe it is an overhead to run a backup on a daily basis. This is totally your choice. You should know that the backup package includes not only the vault and the metadata, but also some configuration and security files that you might want to use during the recovery process. However, it does not include a backup of your Oracle database. By default, the location of the backup package will be on the predefined backup base location tag, which is on the same machine as the XDM server. For your safety, please make sure you copy the backup package to a safe location so that even physical loss, damage, fire, etc. of the hard drive will not leave you without a backup copy. How can you run a backup? If you are using the embedded database, it is fully automated. However, if you are using Oracle, you will have to manually backup your Oracle database. In any case, before you start with a backup, you must verify that there is no user connected to the XDM server. You can verify that by using the session monitoring on the XDM portal. Now that there are no users connected, you can switch to maintenance mode in order to prevent others from connecting to the server while the backup is running. Run server maintenance mode dash on. It is now the time to run manage backup. If you are using Oracle, there is an extra manual step that you need to run. You need to log in to your Oracle server and manually run the backup. Something similar to the following. You should now be able to switch off the maintenance mode, run server maintenance mode dash off, and allow users to continue working. This is the backup directory. It contains the backup package that was created. It has the vault, the embedded database, and some security and configuration files. You can have different reasons for restoring the database. You might need to create a duplicate testing environment, migrate hardware from one machine to another, or it could be to recover from a disaster. In any case, the procedure is very similar. Before starting to restore the data, there are a few prerequisites. 
you should have the XDM server installed, configured and deployed. All XDM server users must be logged out, run server maintenance mode dash on and set maintenance mode to on. You must locate the backup package in the predefined backup base location. Now you can use manage restore utility to restore the embedded database and the vault to the pre-installed XDM server, where index is the backup file index to be restored. An additional step that we recommend for the embedded database customers is to run manage DB re-index, which should rebuild the database indexes. For Oracle customers, you should manually run impdb command to import your database. It is better to import the database before starting the restore process. This video is just a general overview of the Oracle restore process and we recommend that you read more about it in our documentation and consult with your Oracle DBA about the best practice for your environment. Important. The vault and the metadata must always be kept in sync and consistent. Therefore, you must always restore both the vault and the database that were backed up together at the same time. Failure to sync the vault and the metadata will corrupt your data. After the restore process finishes, run server maintenance mode dash off to set the maintenance mode to off and enable users to access the XDM server. In this video, we review the management utilities. We demo the Manage Clean Log utility and the Manage Pass Update utility. In addition, we demo the backup process and discuss the differences between a backup of the embedded database and an Oracle database. At the end, we demo a restore process.